So, what do you get when you re-engineer and reconfigure an 815 combine without the threshing and tank assembly? Well, you get a Crichter, of course, invented by none other than Dan Crick. Hi, I'm Dan Crick, and this is the IH815 Crichter, as we call it. Hydrostatic tractor made from an 815 combine. Dan uses the Crichter as his primary tractor for cutting and baling hay. The machine was originally built for windrowing alfalfa because we would like to lay a seven foot wide windrow. But we've also found that pulling the baler works kind of nice with it too. We could have maybe shortened the wheelbase on the machine. We maybe still wheel, wheel. Um, just to make a little easier, a little sharper turning radius. The original hydrostatic drive provides variable ground speed, which is ideal for baling or mowing. Hydraulics and a 540 PTO round out the Crichter's power package. For the PTO, we took a final drive gearbox off of International Self Propelled Combine. Put a shaft on the back of the clutch housing give us our gear reduction and reversed our engine speed for our PTO drive. Hydraulics, we were able to use the same valves. Dan said that building the Crichter was easier than he imagined. Stripped the combine down to the frame, set the motor off, set the cab off. In the cab all the controls are almost the same way they were originally. The uh, hydraulic valves and the uh, hydrostat the only thing different for the PTO drive to run the clutch, we use the lever that used to uh, turn the unloading auger on and off. After building a reinforced frame, the engine was rotated 90 degrees and lowered into place. The fuel tank is now a saddle tank. Drive wheels were switched side to side. The radiator and rotary cleaner now face the front of the Crichter. The exhaust and air cleaner extend through a hood crafted from sheet metal that once covered the combine's walkers. Facing the controls and cab in the opposite direction provide great operator visibility. Dan said the Crichter is fun to drive, very stable, and a versatile farm tractor. This year we used it. We cut probably eight, nine hundred acres of hay with it. He calls it a member of the family and wouldn't trade it for anything. And we tend to agree. Overall, the machine has worked better than we expected. We could have spent money and put a, put a nice fancy paint job on the thing. Uh, that would have added a lot to the cost to it, you know. Paid $1,500 for the combine. We put about $1,000 of extra parts into it. And we salvaged roughly five hundred dollars maybe a little more from the combine we got an out-of-pocket expense of the, in this machine of about two thousand dollars the way she sits this might well be the ultimate in combine recycling all built for less than two thousand dollars <laughs>